today is going to be a little bit of a different video than I normally do. I'm going to show you some of the items that I have in both of my Etsy shops that would be great gifts for someone on your Christmas list if you're looking for something really, really special and handmade. Uh, on the journals that I'm going to show you, there is a flip through on YouTube and I will link those below as well as a link to the listing in my Etsy shop. So with that, let's get started. And this is how I store my journals until they get sold. They are wrapped in tissue paper and stored in a closed uh, cabinet. So they're nice and protected. All right, so this is the sorry silk tie that goes around it. This is a uh, tag, flip-flop journal, never-ending journal, accordion journal, whatever you want to call it. And like I said, I will leave a link to the full flip-through. This was designed um, to serve as a 12-month uh, diary, journal, whatever you want to call it. There is a window pocket here in the front with a tag. And this opens up and it has some other stuff in there. So really quickly, I'll walk you through this. We have pockets. Um, we have planners in each of the sections, 12 sections. So you have a weekly planner, a section for notes. This is for each week in a given month. And then you just have some blank pages at the back for what to use for however you want to. Now the journal same as the journal is the same in all of the sections. A belly band that you can tuck something in. And there's the back. This has another tag in it. This flips open and you have a little notepad in there. And then it starts over again. Here's a glassine bag and it's full of goodies to use in, in the journal. Another planner. And this journal was made using my, I believe it was the Old Roses kit. And I'll leave a link to the kit as well. I think this is absolutely beautiful journal even if i may say so myself i love the papers i love the design and then we're back to the front again okay so that's one option so wrap this back up This is the tie that goes around. This is a folio. And you open it up. There is a section here that opens up and it has a flip out, some cards, tags. Another tag is your tag up here. Oops. Okay, then we have our journal section. And 
I'm doing this really quickly because if you're interested, you can certainly go look at the long version of the flip through. And in the middle, we have like an ephemera holder. We have a second journal section. And then at the back, um, this represents the 46th journal that I've <clears throat> made. We have another flip out here. This is a waterfall. Um, that you can use to journal on. Okay, so that's that one. This is a bag of goodies that you, this can be used in this journal. This is a smaller journal. It is made with an envelope that was covered in fabric, um, fabric that I actually ran through the printer. Um, it's color fast printer paper for inkjet printers. I think this turned out really cute. And we have tabs here. I used uh, coffee dyed linen to hold the sorry silk for the binding. And this has a winter Christmas sort of theme. Not totally Christmas, not totally winter. And I just absolutely love it. quickly go through here and let you see some of the pages. I absolutely love these are hidden plate paper clips with a pocket and I've tucked some little things in. Same thing on the back. Some vintage music paper with a pocket. Used it for a pocket. Little lace flip. And then there's the back with a belly band that you can tuck something in. So this is a very simple journal. It's small. You got little dangles on the bottom. And on the front cover, we have uh, a framed uh, shaker with some gold sequins, which I think is very holiday-ish. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Obviously, this one is Christmas themed. It's spiral bound, which I love. We have a handsome vintage Santa there on the front with some embroidered lace embellishments. Lots of pockets here it's stuffed full of tags. This is a tool flip. Some of my handmade paper, coffee dyed paper. This is a, a bag with some tags in it. Some vintage book page.
this is gorgeous coffee dyed paper that I bought from someone on Etsy. I just love it. And this journal is large enough where you can use it multiple Christmases. Plenty of journaling space, tags, journaling cards, tucks. And there's the back. And the number 51 representing 51st journal that I've ever made. Okay, so that's in my Write Out Loud studio. And of course, there's a lot of um, printable kits in the shop as well, but those are my journals that I currently have available for sale. All right, now on to my next Etsy shop, which is known as Cheese Creek Primitives, where I sell uh, farmhouse slash primitive style home decor items, mostly uh, pillow tucks and things of that nature. So let me show you some of the things that I have available in that shop. So this is um, some wooden, what I call firecrackers. They're made with, uh, I think these are one inch dowels. And I actually decoupaged vintage images onto each one of them and then distressed it with wax. There's that one. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera. And then I added some red uh, tinsel on the top to represent fire on the firecracker. There's that one. Lady Liberty. Okay, and these all fit in this little gift box. They don't have to be displayed this way, but they can be. And this, I just uh, painted this with chalk paint. I added a ribbon around the bottom. There's a rusty star there on the front, and then this just has some uh, coffee dyed cheesecloth wrapped around it. But you could display this however you want it to. These would look great in a old wooden bowl however you want it to do it so there's that and then the next thing that i have in my that shop are these eight by ten uh, canvas panels and i have attached uh, either vintage images that are in the public domain or images I created with AI. So this is a wonderful Santa picture. And these are securely attached to the canvas panel. But before I did that, I distressed all of the edges of the panels with distress inks. Okay. Another Santa. This is an old Christmas advertisement. And like I said, all of these um, are on 8x10 panels. I love this one. So incredibly cute. Little elves. <laughs> Another vintage Santa. Oh, 
is Halloween. I've put them up for the year, so they'll come back out next year. Here's one um, of a little village decorating a Christmas tree. This image was created with AI. It's an old red pickup um, and on a winter street. Beautiful house decorated for Christmas in the background. Another vintage image. Little kids peeking out the window at Santa. This one I created with AI. Little two little Victorian girls at Christmas. This also I created with AI. Beautiful little girl holding a poinsettia and she's all dressed for winter and Christmas. Another AI image. Two little Victorian girls. A Victorian street scene at Christmas. Also AI. And then some little children decorating a snowman. This is also AI generated. Okay, all of these, I only have one of each. Um, once they're sold, I won't be making any more until next Christmas. So if you're interested in one of these, you better grab it now. Um, what else do I have? These are wax seals that are available in um, Write Out Loud Studio. These, uh, they come in, let me see if I can pull these out and let you see it, get a better look. I have several sets. These are botanical in nature in different colors. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those in the set. And they will come with um, some adhesive stickers that you can put on the back and adhere to your journal page, envelope, whatever you're using them for. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen sets of these wax seals. Okay, and they'll come in a little bag. Okay, so that's that is an inventory of everything that I have that is already made and ready to ship. Um, these items will go on sale on Monday, and I'm not sure of the date. Today is the 15th, 16th, 18th. So Monday, November 18th, all of the items that you see uh, in this video will go on sale for one week only, and then they'll go back to the full price. So if you have any questions about any of the items that I've shown you today, please leave your question in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.